Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jayla on Instagram. I am Jayla Brene. Um, I'm here today making my first ever YouTube video. I did not plan on making a YouTube channel today, nor did I plan on this being my first video, but here we are. Um, I'm making this video today because people had asked me about my natural hair care routine and what exactly I put in my hair and what I do to make it like this. And that's what I'm filming this for. Originally, I was going to put it on my Instagram story, but I figured it'd be too long. And for the people that aren't actually interested, to skip through all of that would be a lot. And also for the people who are interested, also skipping through that would be a lot. So here's just one long drawn out video. Okay, so I just wet my hair literally all over. I took it in the tub and just rinsed everything out um, until it was soaking wet. Like you literally want your hair dripping, like there's water flying everywhere. I don't know if you can see it on the wall, but <laughs> dripping wet. You know how they say like drip is a good thing now? It really is. The next thing you wanna do is separate your hair. So I do the back first. And then take my water bottle and wet it even more. I think the key to having the curls pop is having your hair super wet at first. Then taking paddle brush and combing or brushing rather through your curls. So makes it more bouncy when you comb it through the paddle brush. Some people like using a Denman brush and I have that as well. I think the difference between the two with the paddle brush, um, you get the more elongated curls, but with the Denman brush, you get shorter, tighter curls. So me, I like more elongated, so I use the paddle brush. Next, I take literally my go-to, the Blueberry Bliss leave-in conditioner, tongue twister, and it's from the Curls line. Then you can get uh, this from Target or Meyer. Here, what's going up here? All right. Um, and this may seem like a lot, but about that size. And run it through my hair. Making sure it's soaked, and then I'll do it again with the paddle brush just to make sure it's evenly distributed. And then I'm literally gonna do this all over with my entire head. Right, so I'm looking like a wet poodle, but most of my hair is conditioned with the leave-in conditioner and brushed through. I wanted to show you guys, when I get to the front, this is where I had the most heat damage. So again, just gonna wanna wet it. This one, brush through. And depending on how you part your hair, you can do it. I like to the side, but some people do it in the middle. So I try. However you want to do it. Again with the conditioner. I don't know if you notice that, but I'm sliding it. So the hair can be covered. Alright, and again then because this is the front, I'll take some curls, little sections. Brush through it. And then I'll take my finger and twirl the hair down until I get a nice curl. All right. So now my whole head is brushed and curled and conditioned. Then um, I'll take the Goddess Curls Botanical Gel, also from the Curls line. 
The curls line is great. My hands are disgusting. Okay. So I don't know how much that is when it's clear, but I take that much. And then I scrunch my hair all over. So scrunch, scrunch. I don't know if you hear that squishy sound. What's that? I think it's from like SpongeBob. Are you making squishy sounds? But that sound is good. That means you've got a lot of moisture in your hair. And I think what this does make your hair even curlier. You're literally scrunching it so the curls start to form. What I like about scrunching the hair with um, the botanical gel, with other gels I get like a really hard, hard cast with the botanical gel. It's still a cast, but it's not as hard. So sometimes I literally leave my hair like this, call it a day. Um, I do normally put in Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls, but I actually ran out so I don't have any. So next what I do is I literally clap my hair. Is he hungry? Yeah. So my son woke up from his nap. <laughs> so that was the interruption. <laughs> you say hello, Braylon. <laughs> Braylon is three months old. He was born October twenty-third. And he will be in the video now, I guess. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. All right, so you may hear some baby noises in the background because Braylon is up, but I just want to finish this video. Um, so as I was saying, the next thing I like to do after scrunching my hair is clapping it. So literally clap the product in your hair. I saw this on a YouTube video once. And once I started doing it, I noticed a difference. So now I do it every time. All right. Then take any old t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, and also scratch your hair with that. This. Make sure any excess water. Is taken out of your hair. <laughs> and also wax in the product. So you don't want to dry your hair using just any old towel because. Um, for me, it makes it very frizzy. Uh, this is what it looks like before it's all the way dry. Uh, next, what I would do, I'll let it air dry um, for a few hours. At minimum, I'll do an hour, but always let it air dry for a little bit. So I'll do that now. So after about an hour, I'll take my hair dryer and I'll put the heat temperature on cool first um, just to lock in again some of that moisture and then I'll put the fan speed on high flip over my hair and while I'm doing this um, I'm going to still scrunch it with so this is blueberry bliss hair growth oil Again, I just love the curls line, specifically the Blueberry Bliss. So a quick note with the hair dryer uh, while I'm in the middle of drying my hair. Um, some people use the diffuser attachment and that is something that you can scrunch up in your hair and use 
I choose not to use it because I think it makes my hair look too short. Um, but without the diffusing attachment, my hair is a little bit more frizzy up at the top. Um, that's something I don't mind because I do like my hair with more volume. I just don't like it short. So if you're looking for short and more defined without um, a lot of frizz, use the diffusing attachment. If not, you can do this method. All right, my hair is about a third of the way dry. As you can see, it's getting really fluffy and really starting to take shape. Um, but it's still got these chunks in there of really tight curls, little ringlets. What I do, go back in with the oil from curls and just separate those ringlets. You want to take the oil just so you, your hands don't dry out your curls. So this is a ringlet here. I take it from the top and just separate it. As you can see, just with separating my curls alone, it gave it a lot more volume. On both sides and in the back. So this is just separating it. Uh, like I said, I like a lot of volume. So for the third time, I'm going to take my dryer. A lot of people say this causes heat damage, but uh, where? <laughs> I haven't. And I know heat damage. I haven't had any yet from doing this. Like I said, I keep it on cool most of the time in just a high fan. It takes a little bit longer because you're not using dry high heat but it works for me so i'm gonna take the blow dryer final time just to make sure all the oils are dried up and to give it just a little bit more volume and then i'll do the final step all right so my hair is completely dry now and my final step my favorite step to use the pick to get more volume. So I'm taking it all over wherever I want more volume, going out, going under, everywhere. So the only other thing I would do is take my edge control and I never uh, really learned how to lay down my edges, to be honest. That is one thing I failed at. So, um, no, oh my gosh, watch. I just literally take what I see that's like flying up and just lay it down because I really don't know how to do them. I have no clue. Uh, luckily, I don't think this needs like particular edge designs. I just don't like flyaways. Oh my lord. I fail at them, I'm telling you. It looks so, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm one of the black girls that they talk about when it comes to edges. So this is the final result of my natural hair routine. Hopefully you liked it. Um, thanks for bearing with me through my first video. If you have any comments, um, suggestions, or constructive criticism, please let me know. I guess this is the part where I'm supposed to say like or subscribe to my channel. I will have new videos coming soon. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram at jlibernite. Thanks for watching.